This is the photo of Henry Suvichimba arriving at University Hall at Makere University back in August 2019 that went viral. This photo probably meant to ridicule and mock Suvi, instead shot him to instant fame with many people coming out to defend and support him. In an interview with this an unlikely social media star, Suvi told us of the opportunities that came with this moment. Of course, there are some people I talk to that a normal year, year one student can never talk to. So when you look at it in that way, like it's a lot of opportunities and connections. But Subi says this fame was distracting and he had to fight to stay grounded and make the best of his presence at Makerere. One of the ways was uh, I refused to believe that I was uh, some sort of a celebrity. So I stayed my, in, in my normal life. Um, I, started, I, 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 I was doing tough as a... Uh, the way I used to do it before. Of all the opportunities that came with this moment was a well-wisher who got to be his dream course at Makere University. This young man was initially admitted to Makere on government scholarship to study education, but his interest lay in engineering. I personally am so much into interested in uh, electric automobiles and uh, renewable energy systems, so the course is somehow a wide course. After an interview with NTV, well-wisher engineer Joel Aita reached out to him and offered to privately sponsor him to pursue his dream course. I thought that, why don't we just give him his dream immediately? Instead of him going through what he actually doesn't like, we were to give him the complete sponsorship, including allowance, including accommodation. It was a complete sponsorship. But there were conditions attached to this support, and the most important one was for Suvi to perform well in his studies. Uh, two, he was supposed to behave very well, have very, very good uh, character at school, and not involve himself in things which are not uh, uh, acceptable. Four years later, engineer Aita says the 25 million shillings has been well spent. The results, the results speak for itself. I think if he performs well in, the, in his last semester, he's a, he's a first-class student. Away from his academics, Subi also decided to participate in the university's leadership and as such ran for a number of positions. In year one, I, uh, I stood for a position of which uh, when we went for COVID, I lost love for it. So I put back the poster or something. Then when I came for second year, you know, it was hard because uh, people thought I was somehow joking with the position, so. But he didn't win any, and he also quickly realized that this venture was taking him away from his studies. He decided to rededicate himself to his books and even sought out internship opportunities in order to further sharpen his engineering skills. I did it from uh, Uganda Bat Limited, UBL, uh, in Bugolovi, of which it was uh, a very nice interview. It was my first setting in the, a professional world. He was also part of a group of engineering students who visited Tembo Stills in Boyikwe last week. At this time, Subi is completing his last semester while undertaking his research ahead of graduation next year. But what is the subject of his research project? Uh, renewable energy is basically, um, when you look at solar power, you look at uh, wind power, then you look at... Uh, other things that can be renewed, not like the fuel we burn. Sobi is also eyeing a number of employment opportunities. This day is Uganda where you don't just these opportunities. So if I get a chance to like work with companies like to go into electric cars like Chila Motors, guys like Tesla Motors. As he prepares to complete his studies, Sobi says he doesn't regret how his time at Makerere Hill started. And to those who might be in a similar economic circumstance, Subi only has words of encouragement for them. So I think when you come in and you're like, you know what you want and uh, you know the direction to take, even if these people laugh at you, you'll know where to go. So when they laugh at you and they're like, you're poor, what's wrong with being poor? As long as you're on a journey, you're on a projectile to like, make your life better, it's, it's nothing. Subi's story is one of perseverance and strength in the face of adversity with the full knowledge that every dark cloud has a silver lining. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.